What's going on everybody? Today we're taking a look at Amagi Brilliant Park, which is a straight up comedy anime, which doesn't have any of this identity crisis like we see with a lot of shows where they get bogged down in romance elements, who's gonna date who, or, or some sort of dramatic story or whatnot. It's got an interesting story that is being told here, but it doesn't have an identity crisis, meaning you're gonna laugh your ass off. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned because here comes the review. What's going on everybody, I'm Bob Samurai, and if you'd like to join our friendly community and experience the timeless wonder of film and animation, then hit that subscribe button because I'm bringing you all videos. I'm trying to get back to doing more videos and I wanted to take just a quick minute and talk about that because uh, for the past few weeks I've been a little bit slow on videos because I opened up, I started a store online, I've been selling clothing online. As you can see, I kind of have a thing for clothing. Uh, I'm sitting here dressed up in, it's not a suit, but I'm looking all spiffy to make this video here, but I like my clothes and I've been selling clothes and whatnot uh, for a few months and the past few weeks I went from a store that had 10 items to a store that has around 100 items so I've been pretty busy but at the same time I've still been recording videos but these videos were not necessarily related to anime more like life oriented stuff and I wanted to keep a good flow with the channel so some of the videos that you can look forward to on this channel of course, Amagi Brilliant Park, which I'm about to get to that one. Uh, we've also got Minorigami Review, my top 30 science fiction anime with no mecha, mind you. And also, I've got various other videos, just vlog-oriented videos and whatnot. Plus, I plan on getting around to reviewing uh, some actual movies, such as Yojimbo from Akira Kurosawa, and also Kung Fu Hustle, my favorite comedy movie of all time. So let's begin with this Amagi Brilliant Park review. So, Amagi Brilliant Park was an anime that was voted on by my patrons, and I gotta be honest with you, I would have never watched this anime on my own, because just looking at the cover of it with the little cute mascot characters, and the little moe-looking anime characters and whatnot, I don't think I would like that, but... Thankfully enough, my viewers voted for it, and we all watched it together on our Patreon Discord chat, which, by the way, uh, five bucks a month, come watch anime with us, play games with us, watch movies with us, and when I mean play games, uh, we do, like, anime Jeopardy sometime, if some of the viewers make up a game, we kind of come together and play it, that's pretty fun, but anyways, uh, we watched this together, and I laughed my ass off, just as I said in the introduction of this, and I knew that my first impressions about this anime were wrong within five minutes of watching the first episode. However, I would say that some people would probably take a little bit longer to realize that this is something that they would like. I know some people who uh, would probably enjoy the show, but they dropped it after about three episodes. So for those of you who dropped it, uh, I would recommend going back to it if what I say in this review really piques your interest here. So Amagi Brilliant Park is set within a theme park that is on the verge of shutting down and they need to get a certain amount of visitors to come into the park or else the park's going to be shut down for good. But the main thing why this is a problem is because everybody that works at the park except for our protagonist, is a magical being that is connected to the park, and if the park gets shut down, then they all die, basically. So those mascot characters, they're taking the job of mascots, but that's actually how they look. There's no character underneath that costume. That's exactly how they are. So as I was saying, I'm really glad that I got to watch this anime because all of my expectations were wrong. Happy to say, you know, after watching 750 some anime, you look at a cover, sometimes you get the gist of what it's going to be. And I know that's wrong to do, but there's just too many anime out there. Even at 750 shows under my belt, there's too many anime out there that I know I could have a good time with and watch. And shows like this that felt like it could have been a gamble. But when watching it, it's definitely nothing like you would expect because the main character is definitely not this emasculated sissy boy. He's actually this dictator because Seiya, he actually gets to work as the stand-in manager at this theme park and he is basically the dictator. He rules this place with an iron fist and then you've got all these other characters there. They work for the park. You've also got a Suzu who appears like she could be best girl of the anime but unlike typical best girl fashion she is nothing like this whiny over emotional girl because she's actually very monotone and that is normally a bad thing there's a lot of things that are normally a bad thing in this anime but they manage to work it out and have it really good so she's this very monotone character who goes around talking like this the entire time and if somebody disagrees with her she pulls a gun out of 
what is possibly her vagina and threatens to kill them or shoot them not kill them because her bullets don't kill i don't think she's got bullets that can hurt really bad she's got bullets that can make you lose your memory but apparently she's either got uh some sort of magical tardis pocket down there under that short skirt of hers or uh, she got some bad ideas from the beginning of one of those Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. If you know the one, then you get the reference. Uh, that one's kind of gross, though. But anyways, she's actually a really funny character as well because she's so violent with everyone. There's people that will do something that she doesn't like or talk about her behind her back. She kicks in the door and just starts blasting away at them. And I laugh my ass off. I'm probably going to say that several times here. If you want to take a shot every time I say I laugh my ass off, feel free to do so. Uh, you might make it passed out before the end of the video, and then you can watch the second ad that I'm gonna put there if this video gets 10 minutes. <laughs> so not only is Isuzu a hilarious character by herself, but what really makes this anime so funny is its character interactions, because everybody's got their own quirk, and it's just funny to see how they interact with each other, such as the very beginning of the first episode where she's asking Seiya out on a date, at gunpoint, like right away, I was watching it, and that first second kicked in when I started watching the show. I was like, oh, it's gonna be a school anime. And then it hit. Okay, she's got a gun pointed at his face, and she's inviting him to go to a theme park that is really busted up. This is gonna be a wild ride. And like I said, it's all of the characters' interaction with each other that really makes this show so funny. Like, look at all these mascot characters. You would expect them to be, oh, I'm a cute and lovable character. Look at me do cute things. No. They're not like that. If you were to imagine, if you went to some like really degrade amusement park and there's somebody pretending to be cute in a giant old costume, just imagine the inner personality of that person who is inside of that costume. That's exactly what you would get with these people, but they're not even in costume. So you've got one of them, Mofu. He is a violent character who will get in fights with customers and just start just fighting them and punching them right square in the face. You've got another one who's a total pervert and one of them is kind of just this sneaky idiot and it's so funny watching them interact with each other especially this one episode where they make a costume to dress up like Seiya and they went to school for him because he was he was overworking himself because he's working like crazy to try and make sure that this theme park stays above water here and is getting a lot more customers in there because it really was run down but they go to school for him and they all take turns so it's the three mascot characters and there's three days where they go to school for him and he's got this giant zipper sticking out above his head and he's got different voices the entire time and I'll let you just take a look at this. You didn't have any catastrophes then? Well, I did have a few hiccups here and there, but I don't think it was anything worth getting concerned about. You can't do that in class. And what's that on your head? Just ignore it and focus on doing your job, old man. What? What did you say? I'm heartbroken. You jerk! You're gonna pay! Well, I can easily beat this guy. Don't... Your head is sort of... Hmm? Oh, jeez, you're right. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? So there the image of Seiya is walking around, and he's talking to all these girls, depending on what character it is, because one of the characters, one of the mascot characters, is a huge pervert there, and there's another one that wants to get in fights all the time because he's super violent, especially when you call him a knockoff, because... He looks exactly like a character from another anime that uh, you probably know which one it is. Anyways, it's just really fun watching him being played by these multiple characters and seeing how the mix-up of problems that he gets into with the girls at his school. I also love how this is a straight-up comedy series, and straight-up comedy is like a genre of its own for me in anime because there's so many anime out there that are comedy. Like, if you've ever tried to search for a good comedy anime on one of these anime databases, just about everything is labeled a comedy, so when I say straight up comedy, I mean one that is going to have you laugh in your ass off every single episode. A few, a few examples of this, Golden Boy, Excel Saga, Sakamoto Desu Ga, you know, shows like that that are going to have you laugh in your ass off here. But Amagi Brilliant Park does what a lot of those shows don't really do, because the shows that I just listed, there's not really a defined purpose, you know. In Amagi Brilliant Park, you've got Seiya in the beginning, he needs to rescue this park, they need to go to this end goal here, which is the certain date that they need to get a certain amount of customers or a certain amount of visitors into the place. So there's actually a story that progresses here. It's nothing episodic, you know, there's actually a lot of progression that happens within the story here. And as the story progresses within this theme park, you see more and more of the park itself. Parts that you wouldn't have known that were even there if you were to look at one of the maps that they showed or, or just through any of the context clues of the characters walking around the park in the very 
various episodes. Like, say, for example, there's a time where they go into this hidden dungeon that's underneath the park or this secret dungeon that they have there and they got to go through all these traps and you know they're getting caught on just about every trap you can imagine but that is part of the theme park they've got pirates there they've got big dragons there there's so much to see that just looking at the cover of this alone does it an injustice and i feel kind of bad like how many anime have been this good that i've kind of overlooked just because uh the little bit of skepticism or you know I I'm kind of skeptical when it comes to anime, but I try not to get to the point where I'm cynical about it, and that's just how I manage that myself. I try not to force myself to, show, to watch shows I don't think I'd like, but Amagi Brilliant Park was really just a hilarious anime. Oh, Jeremy! How could you do this to me, Ron? You know I would never push my best pal into a pool of squishy death, right? Huh? Thanks, Jeremy. Okay, got it. What's the plan now? <laughs> And the whole time, I don't think I mentioned this, but Seiya has the ability to read people's minds, and that's actually how they convince him to even stay in the park in the first place, because he didn't believe that they were magical characters, and he didn't believe that the, uh, the mascots were actually, there's no costume there, that's exactly what they look like there, so he was kissed by the princess of the kingdom, the magical kingdom that they have there, and he was given the ability to read people's minds, and it's really funny how he uses that against people. And I also liked how you had these people that were trying to shut the park down, they are like board executives or whatever that oversaw the park, and maybe they own the land or something, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they were total assholes. So. Not only was I just wanting to see more of the anime, to see what would happen in every episode, because every episode was a wild ride. Like, in the beginning of the episode, you would never guess what you would see by the end of the episode. That is what this anime is like. But I also wanted to see uh, Seiya just wipe the smile off of these assholes face like these people are so obnoxious like especially this one dude he would have these glasses that kind of broke apart in the middle here and they would hang on the chain and it would kind of like snap them together on his face and it's basically the equivalent of somebody doing this like constantly over and over while they talk it's really annoying and as these people were very annoying so anyways uh amangi brilliant park this is a very casual vlog style video here uh, that's I feel like that's the perfect type of review that this anime needs just something that just conveys the emotions that I had when watching it I actually watched this anime twice I watched it with my patrons and enough time had passed because I was caught up with so many things going on in my life very busy time that it took me a few months in order to get around to this review here and I ended up re-watching it over the past few days and the second time around watching this anime was just as funny as the first time around but I do recommend if you've got friends to watch anime with Please watch this with them because you're going to enjoy it a whole lot more because that's the way I feel about comedy anime. If you watch it with your friends, you're probably going to laugh a whole lot more at it. So let's talk a bit about the presentation here. The animation is on point. I actually felt like the anime came out several years later than it did just because of how crisp it was and it looks really good. Secondly, the music. I felt like the music was really upbeat and I enjoyed it. I never once skipped an opening, never once skipped an ending. I just enjoyed everything that was there. And lastly, there's an English dub to this. I watched this anime two times with the English dub and I enjoyed every single minute of it. Come at me, bro. I'm sure the Japanese is good too if you want to watch it that way. But to me, I like to watch action series, comedy series, you know, long running series and dub. That's just what I like and that's what I liked with this and the dub was pretty damn good. So I recommend checking out the dub, but you feel free to watch the Japanese if you want. So as for my final thoughts on Amagi Brilliant Park, this anime is a 100% definite watch. I really enjoy this anime. I watched it twice. I enjoyed it twice. I could probably watch it again and still enjoy it. It's a really good show. I would say this is easily one of my top 10 favorite comedy anime series. Definitely check it out. If you want to know a score that I'll put with it, you can check my mal. I score everything I watch there, but I gave it an 8. It's a damn good show, and I hope you check it out, and I hope there's somebody out there who watched episode 1 and dropped it, who thinks, you know, hey, this is worth a second chance if Bob says so, and checks it out and enjoys it. Anyways, if you enjoyed... Amagi Brilliant Park, or if you've watched it, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button and also subscribing if you haven't yet. Thank you so much to all of the Patreons who support this channel. I've got a list of everyone in the description section below, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you then. Stay classy.